right, hello everyone, and thank you for joining us for the meal prep workshop. Um, we're going to go over some meal prep packs with you guys, and then we pulled some very quick examples that you guys can use um, to do some quick meal prepping. All right, so here are some meal prep hacks. We have six tips for you guys, and the first one is buy the pre-marinated meat. Okay, I feel like sometimes prepping that meat <laughs> um, can be the longest out of that meal prep by the time you put it in the oven or, you know, you're prepping it, you let it marinate in the fridge. So just go ahead, buy it pre-marinated. You can do this with the pork tenderloin. You can also get those pre-made burgers and um, different things of that sort in the store that are already ready for you to go, ready to be cooked. The second one is to use the steamable and even the frozen vegetables. Um, that you find in your grocery store. I know we he you hear all the time to get fresh veggies, but this can take a lot of time. By the time you wash them and you cut them and you prep them, once again, it's very time consuming. And fr frozen vegetables and steamable vegetables in those little bags that you can get can be just as good. And our third one is we actually have this one here today, it are these microwave quinoa bags. Quinoa is so good with, for you. It's high in protein and fiber, and this literally takes 90 seconds. Um, you can use it for about even two to three meal preps. Uh, if you can, they're really easy. Um, I get the big boxes at Sam's Club, um, and so then I'm good and I'm stocked up for the next week or two. Uh, so those are also a great option. And some other ways that you can take advantage of your time is to make extra servings at dinner time. So maybe you get that extra chicken breast or two, throw it on the grill, get some extra potatoes, and maybe you know, you're able to have those leftovers later on in the week, that Thursday or Friday. And that goes into our fifth tip of planning your meal prep days. So I know for myself, I typically do it on Sundays. Um, and I plan to do at least my Monday through Wednesday. And then my Thursday or Friday tends to be my leftovers or whatever extra I made um, during my dinners that week. So try to figure out what's going to work best for you and what you do for your family and things of that sort. And um, write it down. And that way you kind of have a plan going into the week. And number six is use quick and easy kitchen tools. So... Um, ever since I got that Instapot for Christmas, that's been my best friend. Um, love that thing between the hard-boiled eggs and um, steaming vegetables and cooking uh, my food. That thing is so quick. Um, and also with that, I like to go on Pinterest and find like those one pot where you put all the ingredients in one pot at once. There's no extra steps. And that way I only have one dish. It's a fabulous thing. Um, another tool that I personally like to use are the stasher bags. So I brought some here today. Um, they come in all sorts of sizes. So like this is just like a little snack pouch. Um, and this is like a big one liter one. I also have a three liter one. Um, they have sandwich bag options. And these are great. These are food um, grade silicone. So you can use these. Um, in the freezer, in the microwave, you can actually put this in boiling water in the stove top. Um, they're great for storage and they fold up nice and easily to put in the cabinets so you don't have like 20,000 containers <laughs> um, in your drawers and they fit nice in a lunchbox. Um, so super easy to use. They're um, eco-friendly and um, yeah, I love, love, love them um, very much. I like to talk about them all the time when I'm eating my food. You can ask Brittany, but anyways. <laughs> all right, now I'm going to hand over the mic to Brittany, and she's going to go over um, in detail some examples of how you can um, meal prep quickly. Hello, everyone, and again, thank you for joining us for the meal prep hacks. As Hope said, I am Brittany. So I'm just going to go over a couple meals and some recipes um, that will give you a great way to have a balanced, healthy meal. Um, so first, again, I'll just kind of go over the ingredients that we have. 
we have our rotisserie chicken from Publix, okay? And then <laughs> we also have just a pepper mix. Um, so it's green, yellow, red, orange peppers. And again, we have the quinoa packet, as Hope spoke of, and then we just have a bag of spinach, okay? So I'm just gonna give you some examples of how to use these ingredients for three meals. So the first meal for breakfast, we don't have any eggs, but you can always make an omelet. That is a great way to have um, a healthy, balanced breakfast that will hold you throughout the morning until it's time for snack. And you can use any ingredients you want for your omelet. So of course you will use your spinach, of course you will use your peppers, and you can also cut in some rotisserie, okay? So I know, Breakfast is normally like eggs, bacon, but chicken is a lean protein, so you can still use it. I would just suggest that you do not use the skin and that you only use the white meat. And of course, you want to dice it up. So again, that is your breakfast. So for lunch, you can do a salad in the jar. And so Hope is going to demonstrate how this would go about doing. <laughs> she kind of reminds me, you know, like on the prices, right? When they show the car. <laughs> so, okay, you have your jar. Um, depending on your calorie intake, your activity level, that's how big your jar should be. Please always get recommendations from a dietitian or you can speak with us and we, we can give you some, some suggestions on which liter or jar you need, okay? So this liter, what liter is this? I think this has over, this is, well it's three and a half cups. Oh, it's three and a half cups, I'm sorry. So this is three and a half cups and again, you do this to your own leisure, okay? <laughs> so Hope says she's going big, okay? Go big or go home, all right. So first things first, you have your jar. Um, the first ingredients that you would put at the bottom of your jar is your salad dressing, okay? So we're gonna pretend she made her salad dressing. So a question that we get a lot of times is, what is a healthy salad dressing, okay? Ranch, honey mustard, Thousand Island, those are not healthy salad dressings. Those are fatty salad dressings. So please start away from those. So if you are at the store and you don't have time to make your own salad dressing, please refer to a vinaigrette. Also make sure you watch the sugar inside of that as well. But if you're at home and because you're doing these quick hacks and you have extra time, I mean, personally, I like to use um, a little bit of olive oil, apple cider vinegar, and the pink um, Himalaya salt. You can also use lemon juice and olive oil. You can always Google healthy dressing recipes. So that is what will go first, okay? And so after that, we have our vegetables. So again, we are just using peppers, but you can do cucumbers, peppers, tomatoes, um, whatever you want to put. Also, if you want to put a few strawberries, a few apples in your salad, um, that always goes well. Sometimes when I'm feeling spicy, I like to add raisins um, in there as well. So whatever vegetable, fruit you can put at the bottom. And again, this is, we don't measure. This is all eyeballing. So however big or small your salad is, you know, that's how much ingredients you will put in there. Yeah, However, like a, like a salad yeah, this is like a salad buffet to go in a jar. <laughs> okay, so we've got our dressing, imaginary, and then we have our vegetables, which are our peppers, all right? So the next thing we'll put in there is our grains. So again, if you want to use uh, quinoa to put in there, you can, again, like I said, Sometimes I like to use raisins. If you want to put any kind of nuts or anything like that, you can put that in there. Beans as well, that's right. Um, how, again, however you want to make your salad, as long as it's nutritionally dense, that is exactly what we're looking for. So she's going to pretend like she's putting the kiwi in there just because this is a bag. And, um, you know, well, yeah, you can, I guess you can. Okay, so she says she can, okay. so we're going to do it. For educational. All right, for educational, this is for education. So, again, she's just putting um, the quinoa in there. 
and again this is to however you like so you kind of see the layers here hopefully you can see them all right so now it's time for the good stuff ladies and gentlemen we have our rotisserie chicken so i already sliced up um some chicken and again like hope said you can use these stasher bags to transport um your food if you don't i know some people don't like when their food touches so if you want to use mini stasher bags you can but if you don't care this is a great way again to transport your salad so she's just gonna put a couple of slices in there and again this is all white meat no skin okay we're trying to be healthy Yeah, she's putting it all in there. So she said this is going to be a big, healthy, hearty salad. Begin within her calorie restrictions, okay? So again, you have your vegetables, your grains, and we have our protein. And last but definitely not least, we have our vegetables. So we are using spinach. I always like to use spinach because I feel like it's a double whammy, okay? So spinach is great because it's a vegetable. It will digest better. So you can use it as a salad, but it's also a vegetable. So you will be getting a double serving of your spinach. And spinach is always great for iron, okay? But if you want to use Romanian lettuce or if you want to whatever type of green leafy, sometimes I also like to use kale as well. So I'll just maybe do um, two cups of spinach and then maybe a cup of kale um, you can do that as well it just all depends on what your preference is all right so again she's putting the spinach in there she's stuffing it just to make sure because you know that's the worst thing when you have all these ingredients and you don't have enough lettuce okay <laughs> that's the worst so i'd rather have too much than not enough so once it's stuffed and once everything is in there we are good to go and we are going to seal the cap and then this is your final product, okay? This is your salad in a jar. So guys, we hope that these recipes and these tips will be able to help you to create balanced meals. We know that you guys are going back to school. Some of you will be coming back into the building, so time is important. But you can still make time and find easy ways to eat healthy. So if you would like to get the recipes for the food demonstrations that we did today, we have recipe cards available for you guys, all right? That's how much we love you. So we have the recipe cards available. Um, so if you would like one, please, please, please make sure you reach out to us at Cox Fitness Centers at coxing.com. We can email it to you. Also, um, if you're a part of our self-improvement September challenge, you will also get a recipe card as well. So again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in with us. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Bye.